Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today's a little bit of a spontaneous video. It's not something that I planned, it's just something that I wanted to do, and I think it's pretty interesting. So I'm gonna put it up there for you guys to share and show you guys. What spawned this idea was I'm running out of space on my hard drive, which is a 240 gig SSD, and I only use it for games. Now, I either could go and buy a bigger hard drive, or since I have a bunch of these solid states anyway, I'm just gonna raid it. So what I'm gonna be doing is either doing an onboard raid or a software raid to see which one is faster. Now the onboard raid meaning, you know how your motherboards actually has a raid option that you could hook up? I'm gonna try that and do a speed test to see if this one's faster or Windows 10 also comes shipped with raid. So I'm gonna try that to see if that one's faster. Both it's gonna be on raid zero. So I am gonna increase in space just depending which one's gonna be faster. Now, if you want to do something cool, um, you could pause this video right now, leave it in the comments below which one you think is faster, and then we'll see at the end of the video because I, I have no idea whatsoever. So let's get started. Now, for a base, this is the SSD that I'm on right now. It's 557 read. Uh, 487 writes and this is just straight up SSD without any you know RAID or anything like that so uh, we're gonna try this out and see how that works all right so I'm not too sure if I did something wrong here or not but uh, I ended up spanning the disk drives you see it's spanned it's purple spanned and here are the results 200 and then 127 which is a significant drop so I'm gonna try it again because they have another method of trying to raid this. So I might be doing the wrong method. I'm gonna try this again. But so far, software raid through this is terrible. <laughs> so I'm gonna go check that out. All right, so instead of creating a span this volume like I did on the disk management, um, you have to use, it's actually here, control panel, all control, storage spaces, create storage pool. And that's what I'm doing right now. And this should create the raid zero that I want so that's how it looks like. It doesn't have the span volumes anymore. So I'm hoping that that would fix this speed issue. So we'll see in a second. So I was running into a lot of problems creating the pool. Uh, now I was able to manage. I had to reset something. So here are the results. Uh, seems almost the same. Maybe a hair faster, but I don't, I don't see much of a difference. I ended up having to reset the physical disks with the unique ID using PowerShell. And if you could see, like, it's not purple anymore. I mean, let me see if I could scroll down on this. Um, yeah, there you go. It looks just like a partition. It's not purple like a span disk, but it's got 440 something gigs. I still left it as the H drive. And yeah, here you go. The results for Windows 10 storage pool, RAID 0. Now we're going to try to do the raid, uh, the onboard raid, and see if there's a difference there. And then we'll decide at the end which one I'm going to stay with. All right, so right here I'm just uh, creating an array uh, of the two SSD drives I have here. Raid 0, 478 gigabytes. Uh, sounds good. Complete. Read and write for caching mode. Uh, confirm to create. Let's continue to boot. Should still boot from my M.2, and then I should have a RAID array. Yeah, it's booting, so it's good. And then my RAID array should be seen through my computer. So I guess I have to install my RAID controllers first, and we'll get that going now. Okay, so new problem. Um, I didn't know this. I honestly did not know, but since I have an NVMe M.2 disk installed, upgrading the RAID drivers will make the OS unbootable. So that means I can't use the onboard RAID to finish off this test, but I'm so committed already, so I'm gonna format the computer. <laughs> Check out this dedication. I have to install the RAID drivers. I have to stick in a USB CD-ROM drive because I don't have any CD-ROM drives on my computer. So yeah, let's see how this goes afterwards. It better be good. It better be good. All right, so I am done. And I don't know, I might be doing this wrong, but I feel like it's gone slower using the onboard RAID. And seriously, I've done this test like three times already just to make sure the numbers are correct and it comes out almost all the same every time. And I honestly thought the onboard would be faster, but not slower. I didn't think any of it would be slow. I might be doing this completely wrong,
but so far native without raid it's 500 something with raid it's about 500 something on the windows 10 side and then now we have this which is onboard raid and it seems to be even slower and i let this run like you know let the updates install let the hard drive stop spinning and stuff like that and it's still i ran this test a couple of times i i don't know what i'm doing wrong i feel like it's wrong because the numbers don't seem to add up but anyway, if you guys have any idea or could shed some light about this, hit up in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, hit that like button. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts. All right, just to give you guys a little bit of an insight, this is what my M.2 does. 2,972. That's, that's insanely fast. So... I'm not really worried about speed on my main computer. It's really just to store games on my other hard drives because you could see with the operating system and everything, I already used up 82%. And there's no games on this hard drive.